Hey all, let's see about variations in statistics. So basically what is a variation? It is a way to show how data is dispersed or spread out. It gives you a way to describe how much data sets vary and allows you to use statistics to compare your data to other set of data. And there are several measures of variations. Let's see one by one in this video. Let's see about range. It is the one of the most basic measures of variations. It is the difference between the smallest data item in the set and the largest. Uh, let's see an example. Let's take this list of numbers. And here 93 is the largest and 21 is the smallest. So we just subtract it and find the range of the list of the numbers that is 21. But the drawback in range is that, for example, if a list of number contains a outlayer, uh, firstly, an outlayer is something which is far away from the mean. So if it has an outlayer, then it is not a good way of measuring. Let's say this example, 5, 10, 12, 15 and 95, where 95 is an outlayer and when we try to get the range it shows 90. Let's move on to the quartiles. So what is a quartiles? So a quartiles divide your data into quarters. The lowest, the next lowest, the second lowest and the highest uh, which are divided into 25 percentage each. Uh, let's see an example like in our example we have 5, 7, 4, 4, 4 6, 2, 8. When we put them in an order it shows like 2, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and cut the list into the quarters. 4 which is a Q1 lower quarter and 5 Q2 which is the middle quarter which is the mean of the list of the numbers and Q3 which is the 75 percentage and upper quarter and the result is the Q1. So the first quarter is 4, the second quarter is which is also the mean is 5 and the third quarter is 7. So I think you have got a clear idea about a range and quarter. Uh, in next video we can see about a variance and standard deviation. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, which is actually free of cost. Yeah, done.